Hey guys, it's Lisa here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing all of you how to download the Bitmoji app on your phones, as well as the Bitmoji extension onto your computers. First and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to download the app on your phone, otherwise the extension will not work on the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just minimize my screen and I'm going to cast my phone. Here is my phone wallpaper. Okay, um, then you're just gonna to wanna to go into your app store. So I am a Droid user. Okay, so my app store is the Play Store here. If you're an Apple user, iPhone user, just go into your app store. Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to go to your, I already have this pulled up, but you're gonna to wanna to go to your little magnifying glass up here and just type in Bitmoji. When you do that, okay, and you go to search, the page should pop up. Okay, this is what the, the icon looks like. And you're gonna to wanna to hit install. Okay, so while, that, while that's happening, when it opens and it's finished downloading, you're going to see that you're going to have two options. One is you can sign up with your Snapchat account if you have a Snapchat account, and then literally all you're going to do is type in your login and password information after you click here. Okay, if you do not have a Snapchat account and you do not plan on downloading one, or creating one, then you can sign up with an email, okay, which is what I'm going to show all of you. First thing they're going to do is they're just going to ask you for some information, um, which is, you know, your birthday. They really just want to make sure that you're old enough to be using the app. Okay, which obviously you see I am. Okay, beautiful. Okay, and I'm just going to put in my email and my password. So I'm going to minimize my screen just for a second. Okay, then you're gonna submit that. And then this is the first screen that's gonna pop up after you enter your, the email and the password that you wanna use. Okay, so right here, it's gonna give you the option to be a, have a female avatar or a male avatar. Okay, so you choose whatever one you need. And then it says, start with a selfie. So if you, want, if you hit continue, your selfie camera will pop up on your phone and you will be prompted to take a selfie then they will help to kind of give you a, a baseline of what you're supposed to look like okay and then you can go and you can modify it from there i'm just going to skip that part okay and i'm going to create my bitmoji from scratch so I'm just gonna you pick the skin color okay you pick the hair color you're gonna pick a hairstyle okay um if you have like ombre hair you can do that too Okay, then you're gonna to go to your eye shape. You can even pick your eyelashes here. And you're just gonna go through the bottom here, okay? So this little bottom, you see there's a whole bunch of them down there. Once you get down to the end, you can pick your clothes, okay? So when I am putting myself in one of my interactive classrooms, if you're not sure how to make one of those, check out my video for the Bitmoji banners. Okay, I have uh, interactive story read alouds, classroom libraries. I have videos for a lot using the Bitmojis. Okay, I like this outfit here. I'm going to hit save. If you want, you can also just customize and do a top and a bottom. The cool thing is with this is that if I decided I wanted to, I actually like the color of the shirt, but you'll see that there's color options here. So anytime the color options over here pop up, you can change the color of your shirt. So I could pick this pretty pink color. Okay, I can put on a pair of pants. Okay, I can put some jeans on. If I'm not happy with the way those look, I can change the color. And then there's this little icon on the side. If you click that, that's just gonna tuck in your shirt. Okay, and that's not available with all the options, but you'll see that there's shoes. Okay, and I can put some shoes on my feet. When you're all done and, and your avatar looks exactly the way you want it to, you can then just hit save. Okay. Here, it's gonna say if you wanna set up your Bitmoji uh, keyboard, okay? So this way when you're texting, you can input a Bitmoji, it'll give you the directions here. Okay, I'm just gonna hit finish, I'm all done. My Bitmoji is set up, so I don't need to see my phone anymore. And then you're gonna wanna go and you're gonna wanna download that extension. So in Google, you're just gonna type in Bitmoji extension, Perfect, and it should be the first link here, okay? 
Now I am in Chrome. Okay, my, my browser that I'm using is Google Chrome. Make sure that you're in Google Chrome. And then you're going to hit here where it says, click where it says add to Chrome. Okay, yes, definitely want it, it's adding. And you'll see it'll pop up up here. So as soon as that's done, it's gonna pop up. Now, if you wanna change the clothes, okay, um, you're going to have to change them from the phone app. You cannot change your clothes from the Bitmoji ex extension. So here you can see I have to log in again. So it's going to ask me for my login. Oh, did not type that in right. Let's try it again. It says you are logged in, perfect. So now when I come up to my extension up here in the right-hand corner, you'll see that the outfit that I just picked on my phone is the one that's here. And I'm gonna go type in pose because you'll see these are a lot of full body examples. And there they are. So you can either right click on these, you can save them to your computers, you can copy and paste into a document, okay? Um, if you had a document open, and I can actually, I can just open a new document really quick just to show you, you can even grab and drag. So as soon as this opens, you'll see her right there. I'm just gonna left click, I'm gonna hold my finger down on the mouse and then drag her over and she'll pop up right here in my Google Doc. Might just take a minute, there she is, okay, beautiful. So that is how you download the Bitmoji app and the Bitmoji extension for your phone and computer. I hope that this video helped all of you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. But as always, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, guys.